Hi everybody, Miss Terry here. Today we are going to work on an art activity for the letter B. This is a bear. Bear starts with B. B, B, bear. B, B, bear. We're going to make a bear that looks a lot like this. We're going to start by doing his eye. Last time we took a paper plate and we squeezed our glue onto the plate and used our finger. This time we're going to try it a little bit differently and see how it goes. So I'm going to take my starter kit and I'm going to find the glue. And here it is. Here's my glue. And I'm going to take my bear and I'm going to put glue just for the bear's eye. I'm going to start there. You'll probably want to have your grown up help you with this. So I am going to put a little bit of glue right here, not too much, just a little bit, for the bear's eye. In this bag, I have his eye and some tissue paper we'll need in a little bit, but we're going to start with that eye. Here is the bear's eye. This eye is a big eye, almost as big as my eyes. I'm going to put that eye right on the glue. That will make the eye stick to the bear's face. There we go. Now you can see some of the glue came outside of the eye onto the paper, but that's okay. It'll dry and it'll look just fine. Now before we glue on our tissue paper, I'm going to get out a black crayon from my starter kit. It's in this bag. These are the crayons. I'm going to take out the black one. Here is my black crayon. Can you find your black crayon? We're going to need that to draw some things on our bear. So you can see on this bear, he has a nose and a mouth. We're going to put a nose and a mouth on the bear. So I'm going to start with the nose. I'm going to put a nose right here, kind of like a circle. Can you see how I gave my bear a nose? This is my nose and this is the bear's nose. Now I'm going to give the bear a mouth. It's going to look like this. Can you see my bear's mouth? I drew one right there. Why don't you try that? See if you can give your bear a mouth. Now you can see that my bear also has some lines here for his claws on his feet. We'll want to add those too. I'm going to give him three lines or three claws on each pair. He probably has on each foot. He probably has more claws than that, but I think three is probably enough for our project. Here I go. I'm going to start with the back ones first. One, two, three, three lines for his back paw and three lines for his front paw. One, two, three. See how I gave him three claws on each paw on each foot? See if you can do that. Now I'm going to put my crayon away because I'm finished with my crayon. As soon as you finish, 
your nose and your mouth and the claws on his paws on his feet, then you'll be ready to put your crayon away also. Now, you might want to have mom or dad or some other grown-up in your house, in your home, help you with this part. I'm going to gently squeeze my glue. I don't want to squeeze it too hard because lots of glue will pour out. I don't want lots of glue. I just want a little bit of glue. I want to put some polka, dot, um, some polka dots on my bear with the glue. I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a second, but we're going to start by just getting some small polka dots on our bear with the glue. It'll look something like that. That's a good amount of glue for our bear project. Now, I have more tissue paper in my bag than I'm going to put on the bear. You might want to count how many you have so you know how many polka dots to put on. But I'm just going to put on a few of these. I'm going to start with a white square. Now I could just put the white square onto the glue, but instead of doing that, I'm going to crinkle it like this. Did you hear that? I heard the crinkle. The crinkle will make it look smaller and maybe a little messier, but it looks really good when you put it on the bear. Did you see how I put it on the glue? That way it'll stick to the paper, it'll stick to the bear, and it won't fall off when I turn it upside down. This time I picked an orange square. I'm going to crinkle it. Look how I made it smaller. And then I'm going to put that on some glue. Now I have two decorations on my bear. This will be like fur. This will be the bear's fur. And most bears aren't all these colors we're gonna put on him, but we want our bear to be colorful. So we picked some fall colors to decorate our bear with today. So our bear will have fall colors. Even though if you see a bear, like at the Folsom Zoo, he might be black or brown, Usually he's not going to have too much orange or white or yellow, but we're going to make him a fall bear. Let's see what other colors I have in my bag. I have a yellow square in my bag. I'm going to crinkle it just like that and then stick it on the glue. Let's see what other colors we have in there. I also have some black. I'm going to crinkle it up and stick it on, just like that. Now, I'm going to find some brown. Here is a brown square. Can you see my brown square? Now I'm going to crinkle it up and stick it on. I still have some more glue on my bear, so I'll use this yellow square, crinkle, and stick. And another brown square, crinkle, and stick. Another 
orange square, here it is, crinkle, and stick. I might get a little glue on my finger, that's okay. I can wash my fingers later. And a black square. I'm gonna crinkle that up. And another black square. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. And stick it on. I have two more polka dots of glue, so I can do two more squares. I'm going to pick yellow. I'm gonna crinkle that up. And I'm gonna do one last white one. A white square. Crinkle it up and stick it on. Now see what happens when I turn my bear upside down and shake him. None of the paper fell off and the eye didn't fall off either. That's because I used glue. If you use glue, that helps things stick to your art projects. So that's why we used just the right amount of glue so he didn't get too wet or soggy, but just enough glue to make things stick. We did it. B is for bear. Let's say goodbye to our bear. Bye bear. And I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.